the Minnesota Twins will face off against the Milwaukee Brewers. Although the Twins kicked off the season strongly with two victories over the Royals, their momentum waned as they suffered a disappointing shutout loss to the same team. This defeat underscored some weaknesses in Minnesota's lineup, particularly a lack of power hitting. The Brewers are poised to capitalize on these vulnerabilities in their upcoming match on Tuesday, leveraging their potent offense to score abundantly. Milwaukee's Junis, seeking to make an impression with his new team, demonstrated promising pitching prowess in a relief capacity last season with the Giants, boasting an era of 3.24 against American League opponents. Considering these factors, I favor the Milwaukee Brewers to win by at least 1.5 runs. The upcoming matchup between the Kansas City Royals and the Baltimore Orioles promises to be a thrilling contest. The Orioles have showcased their resilience and ability to mount comebacks, proving themselves formidable opponents who are never counted out of games. In a recent matchup against the Royals, despite falling behind 3-0, the Orioles rallied back and secured victory with a walk-off home run courtesy of Jordan Westberg. While the Royals display strong capabilities, it's worth noting that the Orioles amassed over 100 wins in the previous season, indicating their potential for continued success this year. With their offense firing on all cylinders early in the season and the ability to slug it out with the best, the Orioles are poised to claim another triumph. Therefore, I recommend backing the Baltimore Orioles for the win in this matchup. In the upcoming clash between the Cincinnati Reds and the Philadelphia Phillies, recent trends suggest a high-scoring affair. Over the last three matchups between these teams, the total runs scored has surpassed the set threshold, with at least one team reaching six runs in the last five meetings. Both offenses have remained relatively stable, with the Reds demonstrating their offensive prowess by consistently scoring six or more runs in all three of their games thus far. Conversely, the Phillies have faced challenges against a formidable Atlanta pitching staff, resulting in a less impressive offensive performance. However, as they return home, we anticipate their key hitters to find their rhythm and contribute significantly. Looking at historical data, the over has prevailed in six out of the last 10 encounters between these teams. Therefore, our recommendation is to take the over nine runs for the total score in this matchup. In the forthcoming clash between the Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Angels, both teams have yet to fully showcase their offensive potential at the start of the season. In such instances, the performance of the pitching staff becomes a crucial factor to consider. Although Anderson has displayed some inconsistency and hasn't been particularly adept at accumulating strikeouts, his ability to induce contact may provide an opportunity for the Marlins batters to gain confidence at the plate. Conversely, Luzardo has established himself as a strikeout specialist since his debut in the league. Expect him to capitalize on the Angels' offensive vulnerabilities and provide ample support for the Marlins' offense to find its rhythm. Considering these factors, I favor the Miami Marlins to secure the victory on the money line. In the upcoming matchup between the Texas Rangers and the Tampa Bay Rays, the Rangers appear to hold an advantage, particularly in bullpen effectiveness. Despite being the defending World Series champions, the Rays have struggled with inconsistency in their bullpen performance evident from their relatively high bullpen era of 6.1 arrow, ranking them 22nd in the league. In contrast, the Rangers boast a more efficient bullpen, currently sitting at 10th in the majors with a 2.81 reliever era. Additionally, the Rays have heavily relied on their bullpen, accumulating 2.0.2 innings pitched through five games, which could potentially strain their relievers. Offensively, the Rangers have demonstrated their capabilities by scoring nine runs in their opening game, setting a tone of dominance. Meanwhile, Zach Eflin's shaky performance in his first start for the Rays and the subsequent need to utilize Davinsky for 2.1 innings to preserve the bullpen further highlights the challenges they face. Considering these factors, I recommend betting on the Texas Rangers to secure a road victory in this matchup. The Detroit Tigers will face the New York Mets in a matchup where scoring opportunities are likely to abound. Historically, these teams have produced an average of 7.3 runs per game, with two instances surpassing nine runs, both resulting in overs. Given the pitching matchup, we can anticipate a similar trend in this game. Detroit's starting pitcher is returning to action after nearly two seasons, which often leads to uncertain outcomes as pitchers in such situations tend to struggle. Additionally, Mize, a highly touted young talent for the Tigers, has yet to fully realize his potential on the mound. On the Mets' side, Hauser will be making his debut in front of the home crowd, likely experiencing some nerves that could impact his performance. Considering these factors, the conditions seem ripe for a high-scoring affair. Therefore, I recommend taking the over eight runs for the total score in this matchup. 
The Atlanta Braves are off to a blazing start, averaging 8.7 runs per game in the early stages of the season. They have dominated their opponents, winning by more than two runs in four out of their first five games. Known for their potent defense, the Braves have lived up to their reputation by punishing opposing pitchers thus far. On the other hand, the Chicago White Sox have stumbled out of the gate, struggling to generate offense with only an average of two runs per game. Additionally, their pitching staff has posted a collective era of 4.75, adding to their woes. Given the stark contrast in offensive production and the Braves' prowess at the plate, I expect them to maintain their impressive hitting against the struggling White Sox pitching staff throughout this series. Therefore, I recommend selecting the Braves with a dash 1.5 run line in this matchup. The Colorado Rockies will face the Chicago Cubs in a matchup where the Cubs are expected to assert their dominance. To mitigate the money line juice, I recommend laying the 1.5 runs with Chicago. Despite the inherent risk of laying runs with a home team, the circumstances heavily favor the Cubs in this contest. Kyle Freeland, who struggled in his 2024 season debut, surrendered 10 earned runs in just 2.1 innings against the Diamondbacks. Moreover, the Cubs have historically performed well against Freeland, making them even more formidable opponents. Additionally, Freeland's status as a left-handed pitcher plays into the Cubs' strengths, as they ranked 7th in OPS.780 against left-handed pitching last season. With their potent offense poised to capitalize on Freeland's struggles and extend their lead, the Cubs are in a prime position to secure a convincing victory. Therefore, I recommend selecting the Chicago Cubs with a minus 1.5 run line in this matchup. In the upcoming matchup between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Houston Astros, I anticipate an offensive awakening for the Blue Jays. Despite their sluggish start at the plate, the Blue Jays boast a talented lineup capable of generating hits and manufacturing runs, and they're poised to demonstrate their offensive prowess in this game. Both Framber Valdez and Jose Barrios, the starting pitchers for Houston and Toronto respectively, have shown occasional struggles on the mound, often finding themselves in challenging situations. This presents an opportunity for the Blue Jays' hitters to capitalize and put runs on the board. Additionally, Houston's bullpen performance has been less than stellar, ranking 26th in the league with a 6.89 era. While Toronto's bullpen sits in the middle of the pack with a 4.76 era, there's still room for improvement. Considering these factors, I expect both teams to contribute to the run tally, making the over eight runs a solid choice for the total score in this matchup. In the upcoming matchup between the New York Yankees and the Arizona Diamondbacks, Zach Allen stands out as a formidable force on the mound, consistently delivering strong performances. Despite the Yankees showing promise with their batting early in the season, they still rank in the bottom five in strikeout rate. Conversely, Arizona's offense leads the league in strikeout rate and boasts one of the highest collective batting averages in baseball. This suggests that Gallon is likely to cause frustration for the Yankees hitters, while the Diamondbacks should maintain their solid contact with the ball. Considering these factors, we recommend selecting the Arizona Diamondbacks to win on the money line. In the upcoming matchup between the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Dodgers, the pitching duel between Logan Webb and Tyler Glasnow promises to be tightly contested. While the Dodgers displayed a strong offensive performance in the previous game, the historical trend of the under-hitting in six out of the past 10 meetings between these teams suggests a preference for pitchers' duels. The Giants have struggled to generate runs this season, with the under-hitting in all five of their games and scoring just 11 runs and three losses. Similarly, the Dodgers have allowed just over three runs per game in their last five matchups since returning to the United States, contributing to a 2-5 under record for the season. With a fence likely to be hard to come by in this tense matchup, a simple bet on the under seems prudent. In the upcoming matchup between the Cardinals and the San Diego Padres, the trend of high-scoring games for the Padres continues, with six out of their seven games this season surpassing the total, including all five games played at Petco Park. The thicker marine layer air in San Diego historically leads to lower scores, prompting bookmakers to set lower lines. However, this presents an opportunity for value betting on the over, especially as the Padres offense, boasting a batting average close to .300 and averaging nearly seven runs per game, looks to continue their scoring streak. Additionally, both Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado have found success at Petco Park in their careers, with Arenado boasting a .300 batting average and 15 doubles. With both teams expected to contribute runs, I recommend selecting the over 7.5 runs for the total score in this matchup. In the upcoming matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Oakland Athletics, there's a strong inclination to bet against the Athletics until they show signs of improvement. The team's apparent lack of effort in fielding a competitive roster, 
coupled with Alex Wood's unconvincing performance in his first start of the season, doesn't inspire confidence. On the other hand, Brian Bellow's ability to contain a formidable Seattle Mariners lineup in his debut makes it challenging for the Athletics, especially given their lack of depth throughout the batting order. Moreover, the disparity in hitting with runners on base is evident, with Oakland ranking fourth worst in the league with a .538 team ops compared to Boston's 16th ranking with a .681 team ops. Taking all these factors into consideration, it's prudent to back the Boston Red Sox to dominate this game. In the upcoming matchup between the Cleveland Guardians and the Seattle Mariners, despite the first game of the series going over the total, I'm leaning towards the under for this game, even with a lower total. Shane Bieber had an impressive first outing, not conceding any runs in six innings, while Luis Castillo gave up four runs in five innings in his debut. These pitchers faced each other last season in their respective first starts, resulting in a low-scoring 3-0 victory for Cleveland, with neither allowing any runs. Expect both pitchers to perform well in this rematch. Although the Guardians' offense has shown solidity this season, scoring seven runs in their last two games, runs are likely to be scarce in this pitching duel. Therefore, I recommend taking the under for a total of seven runs in this matchup.